Oh, my tea. Okay. I'm back. Ow. When I sat down on my chair, my butt hit the arm and it's not comfortable. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a super chill personal Q&A. I'm in front of my new clothing racks in my office, just trying new things out. I feel like the background is really dark. I don't think I like this. My hair is still wet from the shower and I'm not ready. I have no makeup on or doing anything and I'm wearing my own merch and I'm drinking out of my own merch mug. So if you guys want to check it out, drop your stone. People ask me this all the time. We'll get into that. I'll, I'll answer that question. Um, I have answered it a billion times, but I still get the question. So anyways, I wanted you to sit down, chat, catch up with you guys, have a nice heart to heart. These are honestly my favorite videos to film where I just sit down and talk to you guys, you know? So we're gonna catch up and it's gonna be a good time. If you guys are new here and you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I also just dropped a new podcast. Dropped a podcast? I don't know. I think I'm some like pop star now that I have stuff on Spotify and iTunes and I like go to a studio to record. I, it's, it's like really getting to my head. Um, but anyways, if you guys wanna check it out, it's I Love You So Much with Kenzie Elizabeth. It is my baby and I'm so happy about it, so. I asked you guys for some personal questions. I said, thanks girlies, Illy. I'm gonna be answering them. There are literally thousands, not really thousands, there are hundreds of questions. I'm gonna answer the drop your stone thing first. People are asking what drop your stone means. Go listen to Jesus is Our Advocate on Spotify, Judah Smith, and then listen to that. It's like five minutes long, it's so good, but that's like where this, I mean, it comes from the Bible, but like it explains it better than me. That's the best way I can describe it. Essentially, it means drop your judgment. Get over yourself, you know? What was the best slash favorite day of your life? Give all the details and tell the story. I can't give you the best day of my life, but like what my favorite days consist of are going to Malibu with like super, super close friends. And it's like those drives where you're in the car and you're so happy and you know that it's just a good day and you're, you actually realize it in the moment. You don't just look back on it and be like, oh my gosh, that was so good. It's like, you know in the moment that that was a good day. Yep, that's my, that's my good day for you guys. Would you ever cut your hair? People comment this all the time that I should cut my hair and I've considered it, but I really like my long hair and I can't see myself actually cutting it, but I have considered it. I thought about it for like a really a split second, seriously. But like anytime I've cut my hair before, I didn't end up liking it and then I don't style it enough. Like when it's short, I feel like I have to style it. When it's longer, I can just like throw it up easier or like let it be natural. Can't do that when it's short, you know? What clothing company would you want aligned with? My dream in life is to do a Juicy Couture collaboration. That is like my biggest dream ever. If you pray or anything, put it on your list, please, seriously. But Juicy is like one of my favorite brands since I was basically, since I came out of the womb actually, I probably was born wearing a Juicy tracksuit. So yeah, that's my biggest goal. That's, that was not what you asked, but you get it, okay. How did you create your own podcast? So I originally was recording everything in my office and so that's why a lot of the branding and stuff is with that wallpaper. But um, actually I ended up signing with a podcast network and they actually like fully produce it. I just go into the studio, I record, they edit it, they produce it. I'm actually right now, it, this is pre-film, I'm waiting for my first few episodes so I can listen to them. I'm so excited I get those back today. But yeah, so they actually handle like most of it for me with Dear Media, if you guys listen to like the Skinny Confidential. Um, it's Michael Bostick from there who actually is Dear Media, but he also is in that podcast with him and his wife. Anyways, really good. They have a lot of really cool podcasts. It's like very female empowered, like female driven. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so that is how I did it. Um, they actually handle like everything for me now and I just like go in and I get to do all the creative behind it and I get to have people over and I get to like go to an actual studio. So it's just better, have people over, have people to the office. So if you guys see on my Instagram stories, like I'm there like all the time and I'm constantly recording episodes. I have like, I think as of right now, I have like 10 episodes already pre-recorded. So I'm very excited. What life decision do you think has shaped you most as a person? Um, as a person, definitely going to the school that I'm at. I go to Zoe Leadership College. By far as a person, that has shaped me the most. Um, and then the thing that's made the biggest impact on me, obviously, is like starting my YouTube channel. But then second, it would also be ZLC. Do you think you'll be renting that house in Dallas from your dad? That's so funny that you even remember that. So she's referring to a house that I was at um, whenever I was home for winter break last time. My dad really wanted to rent it. I think they sold that house. They, my parents, I think they sold that house because he got another, he moved to another house in Dallas and then we still have a house in my hometown 
like this far. It's it's a really confusing thing, honestly. I can't even explain it to you. So no, I don't think I'll be renting that because I'm pretty sure he sold that house. But his new house is cooler, so it's okay. And I definitely will not be renting that one because they will be living there full time now, so. Follow up on your cool sculpting experience. To be honest with you guys, I thought it did something and it just didn't, I don't think. But I also don't think I kept up with it the way that I was supposed to. But like now, I'm like there was nothing, but I, it was like fully genuinely my fault. People have had really good experiences, but I just like, I guess I just didn't keep up with it. I don't really know. These are literally all either around faith or around boys, which are two topics that I don't really want to talk about right now because I feel like I always talk about them. When do you feel like you're thriving? Like what makes you feel like a boss? Um, this is a really good question. I think um, having a full schedule, not like a busy schedule, like where you're just doing busy work, but having a full schedule where I'm doing things that like really energize me and are really getting things done, which that includes school, I guess, unfortunately. So if I'm like busy, but I'm busy in a way where it's actually being productive and efficient and it's a full schedule rather than like a busy, busy work schedule, and I'm being like really um, intentional about like how I'm spending my time and like staying refreshed and everything. That is what makes me feel like a boss. I love having so many things to do. I like, I love being, not busy is not the word. I love having a full schedule and I'm um, just getting stuff done, you know? So I like having a lot of stuff going on. Like I've been so excited for the podcast launch and everything. So that's been a really good time, but yeah. What is your family dynamic like? How do you make sure you spend equal time uh, with parents? Okay, so my parents are divorced. My parents got divorced when I was in the fifth grade. I literally thought it was gonna be the end of my life. I was so dramatic, and like, that is something, it's a horrible thing to go through. Divorce is horrible. I'm not trying to downplay that, but like, I literally thought my life was over. When my parents got divorced, if you are going through that, it will get better, and your life is not over. Um, I'm also just used to it, but as time went on, like, you just get used to it, and normal, and whatever. Divorce is not good. I don't like divorce at all, but, um, I hope everyone has happy, healthy marriages, but that is not the case for some people, and some people get divorced. Um, my family dynamic, my parents actually get along now, which is a change. <laughs> Just kidding. I have a video with my divorced parents that drive with me. It's actually really funny. You guys should watch it. It's hilarious. One of my best videos. So yeah, we're there on good terms. When I go home, I just stay with both of them and everything's fine. Everyone's good. My Both my parents are remarried. I have a lot of step family, actually. have a stepdad and a stepmom and six step siblings and three of them are triplets, so it's wild. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Married, kids, more dogs? I don't wanna think about that. Anyways, Taylor asked, do you like Instagram polls? If you guys don't know, Taylor has her TK's Juicy Polls on Instagram. Check them out. Yes, Taylor, I do like them. If you could be anyone's assistant, who would it be? Okay, guys, comment down below who you would be. This is a good freaking question. Maybe like Morgan Stewart. I feel like that would be a good one. Shane Mitchell, that'd be a good one. Should guys get engagement rings? Okay, we were talking about this the other day. It's very weird that girls wear engagement rings and then guys don't wear engagement rings. I don't get that. There's so much more with this like misogyny and all this stuff when it comes to like weddings and whatever. But it's just weird. So yes, guys should wear engagement rings. Whoever I get engaged to will be wearing an engagement ring. Do you ever wish you could have gone off to college and experienced dorm life, etc.? Sometimes I do. Um, pretty rarely. And then I think about it and I think about the fact that I have to do it for like more than a week. And then I'm like pretty good on it. Um, I love the school that I'm at now and I would have never gone to the school that I'm at now had I not moved out here and everything worked out the way that it did. So I'm really happy. Like I'm so happy with where I'm at. I'm Right now I'm probably the happiest that I've been in like a year. But with that being said, sometimes I do only when I feel like I am like 30. Like sometimes I'll be like, I do not feel like I'm a, like a normal kid because I just don't I didn't like go to dorm life and so there's I don't know I put more it's a combination of I have more responsibility with YouTube and everything in the way that everything's structured in my life and the fact that like I didn't really do the normal kid like crazy partying college dorm life whatever so I feel like I like you know I didn't have that time but like I also didn't really want that time I don't know answer is yes and no but not enough have you made new friends in the past two years I have made most of my, honestly, church, all of them. How is it living so far away from parents? It sucks. It's okay, like I'm very independent, but like it does suck that I can't just like drive to like my mom or dad's house, like that sucks actually. It'd be nice if my parents are like three hours away, so I could, that's like enough time where I could just like drive if I really needed to. 
but like not to where I see them too much, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice distance, that would be awesome. Do you want to keep on doing YouTube or do you also see another path opening up? I want to keep on doing YouTube and I also want other paths to open up. With your degree in business, what would you like to do? I want to just keep doing what I'm doing and just keep building like my own brand. I hate saying that, my own brand, but that's what I want to do. So I guess that's your problem, we get over that. If you could relive one year, what would it be and why? Wow. That's a good question. Maybe my sophomore year of high school, that was a really good year. Yeah, I think I would do sophomore year of high school. That was my favorite high school year. Could only shop one brand for the rest of your life. What would it be? I would pick Juicy because then it would be funny. Were you embarrassed on your Greece trip telling everyone you guys were vlogging slash YouTubers? Okay, so Morgan and I are talking about this. It is kind of like a weird thing. No one really cares normally. Well, at least on our trip, they didn't really care, but it is a little bit weird because it's like from like a business aspect like we were sent there so it is like a little weird and then no our group in greece literally i love them that was such a fun trip and i miss them like every single day but it wasn't like they were all super chill about it but at first it's kind of like oh hey you know what i mean but like not really i'm not i'm never like embarrassed of it at all have you ever hooked up with any of your current friends yes kissed them i mean Okay. Are you good at singing? If so, would you ever post a cover? No, I'm not. If I could sing, I would be fully going after being a pop star. Deep down in my soul, that's what I want. I would love to be Dua Lipa, but I can't do that, so. What's the one thing people always misunderstand about you? Okay, no one really misunderstands this about me. It's definitely all in my head because no one ever tells me this. I just tell myself this and it is false. But I think sometimes like my humor, I'm like very like sarcastic, whatever. I've talked about this on my channel, but I feel like sometimes people think that like I don't actually have like a heart. Not like I'm never mean, that's not the way, but I'm like very like just like stupid. Not stupid. Well someone else. I feel like maybe my humor can come off as like a little bit like valley girl, superficial, whatever. And then like it doesn't come across as like I have like a really big heart for people. So if anything it's that, but no one really ever even says that to me ever in real life if you know me. So I think it's all in my head. Would you ever move from a place you adore to somewhere you don't like for true love? If I was like madly, madly, madly in love with that person and I couldn't spend my life without them, then probably. I don't know, I'm also pretty like, kind of stubborn, so we'll see. Actually, we'll not see, that's not happening. I'm not seeking that over my life. What was the worst phase in your life and how did you cope slash move on from it? Probably my Lorenzo phase. <laughs> Such a bad time. Um, so when I lived near USC, it was like the complex that everyone would go to. I just always call my Lorenzo face. It was like my first year in LA, I think, without realizing it, I was just very lost. And I was like, just like different. I don't know. And it was a weird year. Like I was just in weird things. It was weird. That was the worst. That was the worst phase of my that I've had, yeah. Are you more into looks or brains for a significant other? I am 150% like personality with someone. And then when they're attractive too, that's awesome. But like, I have dated, that's so mean. I, I've never really, okay. I've dated a lot of guys that, not a lot of guys, but I have dated people or been into people that I wouldn't necessarily find like physically attractive. It was like solely based off of their looks and then because of that, they're physically attractive. Does that make sense? I don't know. So many people keep asking about faith. I'm really not trying to talk about this in every video, guys. If it's getting annoying, like you just let me know. People are just asking, um, Okay, let me actually find it. I'm so curious about finding your face, as how to even go about that. Um, so, I have an entire like testimony video if you guys just wanna watch that. That would honestly make more sense. But I'd always kind of known God growing up. And then when I, I went through my like phase away, moved back out here, um, kinda got like way more connected again. And now I am here. I don't know, I just knew that I was missing something, I think. And I knew all along what it was, but I didn't want to admit it. Anyways, if you just watch that video, it makes more sense, but I kind of just made a commitment, and I was like, all right, I'm here, I'm gonna do this, and it was the best decision ever. What is one thing in life you would wish that you had done or realized sooner? Um, okay, I would say like stop watering dead plants, but I feel like that is not necessarily the best thing, because I do think that like, there are some friendships that will be like reborn, essentially, and that maybe you just need a break from or whatever and that like can be healed and reconciled. I do agree with that, but I also think that I put so much energy into like people and things that like I just didn't need to put my energy into and that I am so much better off now because I am not putting my energy into them. Um, and they're awesome and I love them, but like it's just figuring that out. So I wish that I would have just given up essentially. All right. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoy this super relaxed, chill Q&A. I hope I like this background. I hope you guys like the podcast and this video. Follow me on Instagram if you guys have not already. I love you guys so much. Check out my merch. This is so much self-promo. I'm going to end the video because I am annoying. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.